High School. Today is Tuesday, February 23rd, National Dog Biscuit Day. I'm Helen Friend. And I'm Bailey Brewer. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Word of the day, untenable, an adjective, not able to be maintained or defended against attack or objection. She was in an untenable situation that was difficult to get out of. Trade Tip Tuesday, here is today's agricultural fact. Americans pay the least for food, spending 10% on their disposable income on food. Of the 10% of disposable income Americans spend on food each year, 50% is food eaten at home and 50% is food eaten away from the home. USDA tracks how much of different types of food Americans are eating from year to year. Did you know that the average annual per capita food expenditures equal $4,504 in the U.S.? Now in today's news, today is Tractor T-Shirt Day. National FFA Week is this week. FFA students have planned a week filled of events to celebrate agriculture and FFA. Tomorrow is FFA jacket or t-shirt day. Thursday is half day with free ice cream on all lunch shifts for all students. And lastly is flannel Friday. <laughs> Juniors and seniors, a rep from Johnson and Wales will be here on Monday, February 29th during enrichment to meet with interest student students. Students should sign up in the counseling center by 3 p.m. on Friday, February 26th. Sophomores, you should have received chocolate egg sales sheets in homeroom yesterday. If you did not receive an order sheet, please see Miss Garlett's ASAP. Writing prompt of the week. You're playing a video game called Wizards and Warriors when, suddenly, lightning strikes the house, scaring you and causing you to blackout. When you wake up, you're trapped inside the game. The only items you have is a sword, a backpack, and a note attached to your shirt that reads, Beat me and I'll send you home. All forms for the Washington, D.C. trip with Ms. Verts must be returned by the end of the day today. Hi! <laughs> Should people care more about doing the right thing or doing things right? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Husky events. JV and Varsity Baseball tryouts will be held on March 1st after school. All participants must have a physical in order to try out. All those performing in the Frostburg State Honor Band need to see Mr. Salisbury as soon as possible. The Northern Variety Show, sponsored by Four Club, will have sign-ups all next week in the guidance office. Auditions are March 10th after school. The show will be April 6th, exact times to be announced. Now in sports news. The boys basketball teams lost at Mountain Ridge Friday night. Varsity de was defeated 70 to 53, but were led by Kyle Klotz with 21 points and Austin Evans 14 points. JV lost 67 to 25, but were led by Cody Eiler with eight points. The wrestlers competed in the Bi-County Tournament in, on Saturday. Bringing home championships were Devin Wilhelm at 113 pounds, Bryson Day at 160 pounds, Kyle Beard at 170 pounds, Riley Brick at 220 pounds, and Ben Beeman at 285 pounds. Placing second at 126 was Tyler Thomas, 138 Luke Lowry, and 182 Sam Beeman. These gentlemen will return to the mat this weekend at the regional tournament being held at the Kark. Congratulations and good luck. Woo! Woo! The JV girls basketball team travels to Mountain Ridge Tournament to take on Southern at 5.30 this evening. Good luck. Woo! Woo! Go! Since the, Since the dawn of time, man has searched for an endeavor to challenge himself, to mold him and shape him into a man worthy of, of success. A man who can prosper in any situation. A man who can bring others together, and a man who can tap his mind for worthwhile inventions like Sloppy Jose Sandwich. Only one such endeavor exists, and it is Boys Track. There will be an informational meeting for all those interested in running Boys Track on Wednesday, February 24th at 3 p.m. in the cafeteria. <laughs> 
Today's weather calls for a slight chance of rain or freezing rain before 11 a.m., then a chance of rain. Or meatballs. Mostly cloudy with a high near 38. Southeast wind around 9 mph or miles per hour. Then a chance of precipitation is 30%. On this day in 1997, an estimated 65 million people tuned in to watch all or part of Steven Spielberg's Oscar-winning Holocaust drama Schindler's List on the NBC television network. And today for lunch, get, get yourself, yourself some BBQ chicken, chicken, mashed potatoes, pineapple, green beans, and milk. Happy birthday to Kylie France. You're cute. Can I say that? Quote of the day. Today's quote is, you can't turn back the clock, but you can wind it up again. Bonnie Pruden. Pruden. Have, Have a tractorific Tuesday. And today, we leave you with a fresh breath of farm air. All about how our life is spent wiping sweat off our brow. And we'd like to take a minute just to stop and say what goes down on the farm in a typical day. In central Kansas, born and raised on the family farm is where we spend most of our days. Chilling out, feeding cattle morning and night, and all doctoring the ones whom we feeling all right. When we finish with that, we do our best to provide by growing all your food up in the countryside. We make sure to be safe so our mom's not scared. She says, Farming can be dangerous, so be prepared. We do many different tasks day after day, so when we start to get behind, it can get pretty crazy. Fixing tires, building fence, chasing cattle back in. We bail up the hay so that we can start stacking. We grow wheat, corn, cattle, beans, and hay that provide you with the stuff you use every day. We plant seed, fertilize it, pray for rain, and keep reading the word so that we can stay sane. We work in the sun and we work in the cold. We farm when we're young and we farm when we're old. If anything, some could say this job is tough, but we're like, nah, forget it. It's, it's a, a job, job that we love! love. Pull out of the yard about seven or eight And we yell to the cattle Yo, see you, smell you later We gaze on the farm with a peaceful stare As we all take in a fresh breath of farm air Oh, I said that too early. <laughs> <laughs> Since the... <laughs>